So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna go to the Performance tab. Now make sure you're on CPU. It's not gonna be saying virtualization, you want it to be enabled. So if it says disabled for you, then you want to enable it in your BIOS. If it already says enabled for you, then we're gonna move on to the next method. If you already have it enabled, then for the second method, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. See if that works for you. For the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in turn Windows features on or off. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to uninstall and reinstall Hyper-V. So you're gonna untick this and then click on OK, which will uninstall it. And then come back to here. Then you're gonna tick it again and then click on OK, which will then install it again. See if that works for you. Now for the last method, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan. Now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be completed. And then once that's been done, you now want to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, we're just going to restart our computer. And then hopefully this will not fix your problem.